the towns you know With trolley cars and pavements hot And theaters where you go You can have your little auto And carriages so fine But it's hobnail boots And a flannel shirt In Cobalt Town for mine Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today, I went on a little adventure with Dan and back and the kids again. Kids are there throwing rocks down the hill. Dan and back went hiking through the bush there. That's Nipissing Hill, Peterson Lake, and we're on the island. First time detecting it. I'm sure other people have been here. They said they found a hole or two over there, so people have been detecting it. Um, kids want an adventure. We got a hold of these kids over here. I say kids, uh, probably early 20s. Um, they talked to them earlier, got a hold of them, got a phone number from them to give us a ride because we're just out here pretty much testing the boat out I guess doing some fishing there's just a little pike in here actually where they are is where the biggest pike are in this lake there's one big island there there's no mine on as far as I know this one I'm obviously standing on waste rock and you can see where they hauled it out and clearly the fenced in areas of the shaft so real quick I'll come over here and get a quick view of that and then I'm uh, gonna get my detector rolling and see if I can find some silver but, um... so of course there's a shaft. I don't know how well you can see that. It's fenced in sort of good. I mean, you could easily get through there, but it's flooded too right almost to the surface, about five feet down maybe, so it's not super dangerous. No idea what's up over this hill. Kids are moving big branches for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, so there's definitely a hole here someone was digging. So someone detected it before for sure, but it's kind of to be expected even on an island around here. Given the sheer amount of silver, here's all of our gear, life jackets for the kids in the boat. And uh, we didn't bring too much stuff today because we just plan on doing a short trip. I took a battery out because my switch is broken, remember? So I took battery out, lost the fucking thing, and uh, yeah. So now I used a bolt from the GoPro mount, piece of foil just to kind of hold it. And hopefully that will work. This is just a shim so the batteries stay tight and don't rattle loose because they do sometimes and it says error. So, should be all systems go. Um, I got my normal pin pointer here and I'm pretty much ready to start detecting. So, I'll do that and see if I find something or not. Lots of iron there, I can see it. Those are mostly all iron signals. You can hear the grunt. It's pretty warm, right? The brats are feeding. Dad's doing. Recording me. Someone dug a hole here. I guess they got whatever they were looking for. See some green in the water down there. This is beautiful water. That's some weird green down there. I mean, you can see that. Maybe. This is a kid's first time out with their cameras. So faint. Yeah, so this is the kid's first first time out with their cameras, so that's the iron you can see part of a drill rod. Hey buddy. It'd be awesome to even just find one piece I could say is from this island. I'd be super content with that, like you don't even know. <laughs> Uh, gotta reset my battery. There's a little bit of an indicator that there's some tunnels under there. Unless it was just a track on the surface from the shaft out. But, ore cart spikes, like that's a, cool. rail spikes I should say, for the ore cart tracks. It's gonna be iron, unfortunately. Something in there 
it sounds like it might be okay. Okay, so let's check it. Something in sound. Potentially. Nothing on the surface. Let's see if this thing will tell me how far down it goes. It is. It says two inches. So let's move some of this stuff a bit. You can dig two inches. <clears throat> What is that? It's like a nest. So weird. I'm not sure what it kind of insects it is. Anyway. So yeah, so focus on the nest. Yeah, you're not really paying attention to what you're recording if you are, so you know. Anyway. Yeah. Camera section. Anyway, you can't even do that. But other than this, are you gonna Anyway. Yeah, yeah, camera might take. Checking to make sure. It's a little bouncy though, but it's not saying a lot of iron. It's really high. Like the number, it's a really high number. Saying it's either silver or maybe iron. Silver or iron. Oh look, he's got a big hole. Oh, getting there. I should have brought the hammer over. Want me to grab it? Yeah, if you want to. Okay. I got it. Oh. Maybe it is silver. That would be nice. It's over there anyways. What? Whatever it is. It's gotta be metal or something. Oh, there's metal. Just hopefully it's not a piece of iron. Is that it? Crap, no, that's open. It's beeping in even faster though. Might be this rock right here. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, it is that one, I think. Where is it? No. Got it. Anyway. Still down there, whatever it is. I'm thinking it's gonna end up being iron. Can we have that for a second? Imagine it's actually silver, silver though. That'd be nice. I'd it. be kind of surprised at this point. Maybe it is, though. You never know. Okay. Such a We're solid signal. A lot such a solid signal though, I'm thinking it's gonna be nothing good. It's a new piece of iron, I bet. Drill rod or rail. That's what it looks like anyway. Let's see in a minute. I'm gonna buddy, I'm just making sure there's enough stuff out of the way. I don't want to check every three seconds and know I'm not going to find it. I have no idea if he... Such a big area, it's going to be a metal. Yeah, iron. See? Can I see that? Wow, it's iron. Or a drill rod. I I knew it. Fucker. Alright. Find the next signal. Pretty busy place this weekend. Four wheeler crews in there. Got a truck over there with the people. Another four wheeler. Another truck down there. It's the guy with the boat. It's way down there. The guy's with the boat, I should say. Four wheelers cruising. Three of them now. They're probably doing the trail right around the lake and then up to the roadway up there. These guys are just fishing over there. So I did find a signal in here. I just wanted to get a shot of that. I don't know. Sounds good. That sounds like a wobbly chicken. No kidding. <laughs> That's a good sound. So I need to do a bit of digging right here. There's no grunt. There's a chance it's not iron. Same two to three inches. And what does it say it could be? <sighs> Pretty much it's either gonna be iron or it could be silver with some cobalt or it could be just silver. Any of the above really. Well a metal detector is obviously I mean, what it's um, called. Seeing it's, if there's metal. 
No, it's detecting. You can find some lost metal. Metal detecting is for detecting That's metal. probably what it was. I would say that's probably what it was. Let's move some of these. I don't think you need the hammer for this one, Brett. Okay. You guys. Okay, but I want to be able to get this in there without metal. See if it beeps. No. So. You chucked it, probably. Oh, something in there. Let me get it. Right down in there. Okay, let me get. Can I get it? Super lucky you can get silver. Yeah, straight down. Silver, you know, of course, is now rare, though, too, to find the cobalt now. Well, you know, it's pretty easy. There's a big old spider. But either way, it's still pretty easy to find. Well, pretty much right under well, there. It's known for its silver. Yep. Cobalt well, is definitely known for its silver. Let's just chuck these. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. It's easier just to pull them out by hand. Probably, maybe one of the only reasons why people even come to go See? Back. Still but down there. Better. Straight down there. But we live in the so yeah. We found one thing that got detected. Now we're going to find another thing. Mm-hmm. Hopefully. Hopefully it's silver. I wonder if you turn one of these rocks in the air if it gets, well, cooled off more. Or it just gets even more heated and it touches the water. Is this? Straight down there. Nope. What right down in here. Like, I know as soon as it hits the water, it cools down. Maybe a bit off to this side. <sighs> now let's pull all this out. It cools off or gets more heat as it goes down, crashing until it falls into the water. Let's see. Check it's it first, you. Pull the hammer out. Probably on fire. I just want to get that wet thing. And it cools off. Still straight down in there. Wait, no. Did I just throw us in the water? Yep. Break that thing and fly! <laughs> like a frisbee. <laughs> no kidding! That thing flew and flew. Like, okay, that was check ridiculous. It, like this. Pull this out. Not out yet. What the heck? How does it just disappear? Probably oh. Wait, what? Yeah, I did get it out. Right there. It's right here. Here? Maybe that wasn't what was beeping. Alright, get this detector working, see if we can find it. See so yeah, that? And then just wave it over top. Okay, well, how about you try the hole we're working at, Fee? Imagine if well, the other the guys hole. just went over there. Right here. Just wave it over top. Go back and forth. Careful. It's gone. Look, it doesn't say anything. Try that pile right there in front of you. That we just pulled out. You gotta wave it back and forth. It's beeping. What? Barely. Spear. Here, I'll help you. Probably because it's that low battery. So go like, no, go like this. I don't think so. Okay, try this hole again. Doesn't even see it's there. Well, I don't know what happened to it. That's weird. It disappeared? It's gone. You can't even create a good avalanche. You don't want to create a good avalanche. Because that's what would be called a landslide, not an avalanche. You don't want to cause a landslide. You can pull us all right down into the water with it. Let her up. That didn't work. Well, yeah, we're too high. She had pinpointing. Yeah, we're too high. Truck's too leaving. Too. The freaking dust over there, eh? Crazy. How y'all doing? Good. Find anything over there?
Yeah, eh? But it's weird. <laughs> I like weird. Heavy. There's some calcite and feldspar in there. Oh yeah. That's, heavy. that's Dan's awesome rock. That does look very strange, eh? Yeah. Wait, flip it over. I don't think this will protect it. Look how heavy that is. Maybe there was calcite and it got eaten away by acid rain. <laughs> Veins there, you know? It could just be like weathered away even because calcite does that around here. Oh yeah. Pretty notoriously. <laughs> but the more acidic the rain, the worse it is. Oh for sure. What? It beeps. It's probably beeping just because it hasn't found anything that's reminding you that it's still on. So, like we found something that was really strange. No, it was it was like a piece of a carbide lamp, I think. Oh, like a tin oh, yeah. piece. Those old, uh, lamp yeah, it was like a tin one, though not brass. So it was super. It was just like a circle, basically, like you said, like a, yeah. a circle with a circle in the middle of it, missing, like a donut. <laughs> it was yeah. flat piece of tin, though. Yeah, but frig did that thing fly far. Yeah, it worked like a little frisbee. I need to find something. Uh, like one of the smallest frisbees in the world, though. I'm yeah. afraid I'm that putting... thing go far. I was not expecting that. I thought it would just like so far as I would give it strength to actually fly. And then it would just drop immediately but keep spinning. It's a weird looking rock. I would probably clean it first and see what it really looks like and maybe cut it. Yeah. If you cut it, pieces are gonna fall off, right? For sure. Yeah, I mean, you do have the saw. Does it get in your saw? That'll fit in there, yeah. Well, we can try it. It'd be the only opportunity have I have to cut stuff? it. Yeah, and you're in trouble? Yeah. I have a bunch of pieces of pudding stone that I would like cut into slabs. Oh, cool. You can bring some over and check it out. Absolutely, I will absolutely take your number for sure. And I, will let I don't have a number, but you can, I'll give you information. Perfect. For sure. Yeah, so yeah. I, I a bunch just of pudding stone from Algoma there, but okay. Cut it cool, cool. See? Yeah. Uh, we... All right, I'm gonna get the kids their life jackets. And... <laughs> Maybe, if you want to come with us, we can go there. Yeah, I'm not working. <laughs> I mean, I was just telling your buddy you was Waiting for him to throw it again. <laughs> Something bad's gonna happen. <laughs> Alright guys, so we detected around a bit, didn't find any silver, we found a couple pieces of iron obviously like you always do, they found a couple cool looking rocks but nothing with silver so can't let them all, it was an adventure, I'll probably do a clip putting across the lake and the kids want to do the waterproof case thing with their camera and stick it under the water so we'll do that too. Anyways, it's an adventure, thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next one. Yeah, once we get close and we start slowing down, here comes the wave. Here comes the wave. Oh yeah, for being chill, man. Think it's gonna catch us? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> There's ground. All right, we're getting shallow. Someone got All right, it's the end of our adventure. Get everything out of here and then I don't know what to call it. That should work, man. And we're back, heading up to camp. Not our camp, we're just visiting. You're the best old town that I know. Kids will have their first video and it'll be awesome. Yeah, we got footage. <laughs> yeah. And we're actually gonna use. Yeah. Give you guys something to do tomorrow. Please like and subscribe. My dad does not have any liking for subscribers, probably. He has like a little bit. So, if you would like to like and subscribe, that would be lovely. Yeah.